Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today we have Beyond the Wire and part two, the only second episode of Top Squads. For those that don't know, Beyond the Wire is a World War One simulator basically. And it's a little bit more relaxed than the other ones for our squad play goes. Our squad leader today is Hot Coffee and I've known him for a little while so is, he's not new to me but he's a lot of fun. We have a good time usually. We'll turn the commentary over to the live game. Probably should have been a medic, but I'd rather do that. Hey, whatever's fun. I found the medic doesn't have as much ammo. I do. I like doing the ammo bags, riflemen. So I shoot a lot. I do like the ammo bag, definitely in other games. Like squad, love it, squad. Yeah, I have squad. I just don't have it installed right now. Yeah, I have squad. There's two modded squads out there. That's a lot of fun. Uh, it's Galactic Contention, which is a Star Wars conversion. It is much better than Star Wars. And the Starship Trooper. Mod. Hey, it looks hilarious. I, I gotta try it soon. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, myself, I do enjoy some uh, Bradley and some Abrams combat on Fallujah. On Fallujah? Are you kidding? That's like the worst map for Armored Warfare. You gotta go to Talil, yeah. mate. Talil's good too, but I mean, it's it's pretty even with the Insurgents. If you have if you haven't played with the Insurgents and they're playing the music, you know, the, the ISIS theme song and the, oh, they're yeah. playing the cell phone bombs, that's an experience. It's oh, a really cool game that... with what your objective is, you know, in, in that game at least. So, Yeah, I imagine you have a lot of fun in this game because they have a really updated site. And same thing with Postscriptum, you got like a Sniper Car 98. Sniper Lee Enfield. Sniper M1. I think I might have gotten him. I hope he was the enemy. Okay. As a squad leader, you get a lot of tools in this game. You get a gun. If enough of y'all join, I get the gun, plus the pistol, plus nades, plus my sword. And you're faster with the sword. And a smoke nade. I saw somebody flank over to this position, but I am not seeing him now. So they either didn't survive or I didn't see him. Dude, you can get on all these second floors. I see. So, as the guy was explaining it to me, uh, crazy. If you want to learn something real quick, always. What is it? I learned something last raid. Um, he told me that as we control, we don't have to control all the ones in this little sector. See, so, you know, we have Charlie, we have Delta, and we have Echo, but we don't have Alpha and Bravo. Instead of wasting guys and attacking Bravo and Alpha, as awesome as that sounds, as chatting, as chatted out as that sounds, right? We can just hold these three points, and it'll start to bleed the enemy tickets. You see where it says 364 on the top? It'll start to bleed that number down for Germany until they have to retreat. And then ours is up 494, 495. That That's going up because bit. we have the majority of the points. And and now we have A, and so now that we have way more, it's going up really fast. You see that? So that's the whole idea. I didn't understand that before. Apparently, there's three game modes, and what? this is just one of the game modes, but that's how this one works. I had no idea it worked like that. That's great. I, I guess that's yeah, great. Fine. Sounds good to me. This game mode's called Frontlines. In the battlefield's front lines, battlefield one of those was, or, uh, several of them had front lines. See, now we have all of them, so it'll be a matter of time before we get to the that thousand points or whatever. On freaking key again. Damn it. Fuck.
Germans are coming from mid. Yep. There's a okay. rally in like C3, keypad, A3. I'll get it. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Let's make room for this. I don't have room for squad right now, but I do like playing postscriptum and I do like playing this. I'm not really big on the modern warfare. I got enough of that on Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. But the World War 1 is I started playing in a Battlefield 1 with a platoon of people, like a lot of teammates, and the only thing that game doesn't have is authenticity. Like it looks real, it's immersive, but like these games actually pull the punch on the one shot guns. Even the uh, what is it, the RSC? The the semi auto on the French side that you guys can use. That one's still one shot kill. If you manage to hit somebody with it, it's a one shot kill. Whereas Battlefield, what like is... those carbine guns, really suck in Battlefield One. So you got you got these realistic games for the one shot kills. If that's what you're looking for, that's what I'm looking for. Me too. It's about the immersion. Okay, new rallies up. We're gonna, okay, so now that you guys know that the game mode is up, now that you know when the t when the when we get to a thousand, it's gonna push. So then we're gonna have, to have that minute and a half. We can smoke a bowl and go use the bathroom. You know, kiss your wife. Whatever you gotta do. Who just got dropped? Just northwest of. You should have seen that from my perspective. My head exploded from the inside. Basically, that was crazy. I love this game, it's two minute rest, but it's like, you get these little two minute breaks, like, everybody should take breaks, and it's not easy to do that, because we don't admit that we need breaks, but we're sedentary creatures, and we're just sitting here for so long. So, like, this game has built-in breaks, every time we take a sector, it's gonna make us, like, wait. Or we could just post up on the line and shoot at them, but you don't have to do that, you could just sit and wait. Bro, we took Echo, what the hell? Oh, I bled out. <laughs> That's awesome. We're about to start getting our first points because we took a go. Hold that up there. Catch you doing great, keep it up. Yeah, if you want, I'll, I'll play postscriptum with you or hell out loose or whatever, but uh, this game's dead half the time. That's all I was saying, if you make videos on this, I bet you more people will play it. Yeah, I've got a few Beyond Wire videos uh, in the works right now. Back's a bitch. I like that one.
Cover me. I'm just sitting here bleeding. I got you. I'm covering. You're delirious. You're bleeding. Boom. How about them apples? I got a big old rally up in this. Oh, they have a rally. They have a rally, like, if you look over the, the, the rally we just put down, if you spawn on it and go over the top, you'll see a big flag right there. That's that's their rally, if you can go take it down. Look for that Germany flag and take it. Showing their already piece. Directly east of this, uh, 60, 60, 60 from the rally right here. Guys, keep moving to the uh, to the south, so I can get a new rally up, or one of one of y'all, just one of y'all. There he is. Hey. Boom. Okay, we got a little rally up here, right here. I'm gonna move it up slowly. Enemy pushing Delta. This enemy be armor. Quick, 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 he wants to kill me.
fuck it. No, fuck. Get him, my mark, guys. He's trying to already that tank. Back away from the tank. Pretty sure about a win. Hey, I'm gonna need you to help me take help me take that tank out. Try to use that use it on the tank right here. It's right in front of us. I, I put one on it uh, on the tank earlier, and it had little effect, unfortunately. They have two tanks, bro. GG, good game, everyone. Had a good time. Yeah! I'm gonna have to take off coffee. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for coming by. We appreciate you. Like or dislike if you need to. Leave a comment and subscribe. Click that bell if you'd like notifications. Thank you. Bye.